Well, hello everybody. We're just waiting for Bronco to get his ass over here. So I thought I would show off some Hamilton book things I just got. Now, first, this time I just sort of was reading through some of the things and saying, eh, that sounds cool, I'll buy that. That sounds cool, I'll get that. And one of the ones I picked up, I haven't been able to watch any of these yet, just got these in. But I've got Carnage Park. It sounded really good from what I read of what it was supposed to be about, so hey, I'll find out. Never heard of the film. I have heard of this one, just never got around to seeing it. I also got The Devil's Candy. This one, I just had to have it because I'm a big Stephen King fan. Not the best Stephen King movie in the world, but the price was good. Why not? I got The Sleepwalkers. I know some people don't like this movie. I I think I saw this long ago, and I can't remember. It's not that great of a film, if I remember correctly. This one sounded really cool. It's called, Who Saw Her Die? I don't know, it just, it just sounded like it would be a really cool movie, so pick that one up. This I had to get. I had to get this, the three disc limited edition of Maniac. Already got it on Blu-ray, but not this version. So, definitely fucking awesome. And, this looked really cool too, so I picked it up. Mausoleum. <laughs> and just another one that I thought sounded like an interesting film. Never heard of it. A Candle for the Devil. Also picked up. We Are Still Here. And this one actually has Patrick Stewart and in a lot of other really good names. The Doctor and the Devils. Awesome. And just another one that sounded interesting to me. Women's Prison Massacre. Awesome. I love Hamilton book. I love them. Are you almost ready? We're still waiting on him. That seems like a story of my life. Waiting on people. Hello, are you coming? Waiting still. Here he comes. He's finally arrived. He's decided to grace us with his presence. Well, what do you expect from me? I'm a dead man, remember? I'm not even alive anymore. I didn't see that. This is an apparition. I'm a ghost. I'm a ghost that likes to drink beer. You don't seem like a ghost. Love it. Eh. You really don't seem like a ghost. Oh shit, I forgot the case to the movie. You know what? Yeah. Patrick Swayze was a ghost that had corporal form. So here I am. Patrick Swayze? Yep. Oh no. Something just popped into my head. A brain? No, that was gone long, long ago. Well, I knew that. I got that. Oh, uh, fuck it. Well, guys, today we are doing Species 2. And you may be wondering why I'm wearing this huge, giant fucking coat. Because well, you're trying to become a giant human parasail. Yeah. Uh, this belongs to a buddy of mine who's, like, much bigger than me. But um, I was forgot my shirt for the day and wore my work shirt. And it's got a big old logo right here, so I'm covering it up. So, fuck it. Yeah, it works. Yep. Anyways, today we're discussing Species 2. Electric <laughs> fucking boogaloo. Yeah. <laughs> God, we're fucking dumb. Yes, we are. I don't remember what movie you know, this came out. I think 97, 98, 98. I think it came out 98. I can't remember. Species 2 stars Natasha Henstrich, Michael Madsen. Oh, that guy from First Contact. Which one? Oh, the guy that played uh, Cochran in yeah, First Contact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't remember his name. But yeah, so. In this one, the alien's name is not Eve, it's Syl, right? No, Syl was the first. No, one. Eve was the first one because she was the first, right? No, they called this one Eve. Uh, really? Syl is. You'd think it would be the other way around. I don't Whatever. know. Whatever. They call her Eve. Who gives a shit? Who cares? It's one of them. 
They look the same. Played by the same chick. Yeah. Both hot. Yeah. The only because disappointing the part woman. is we don't, we don't get to see her boobs until the end. True. In that the last true. movie, we got to see them all through the movie. Now we had to wait till the end. What the fuck? I know. I know. It's sad that it happened. Well, hey, at least they didn't have giant alien nipples in this one. At least not that I could see. No, I didn't see the giant alien nipples either. So, in this one, we have a mission to Mars. And the mission gets infected by the same alien DNA goopy substance that came out of the test tubes of the first film. I don't fucking know. Yeah. And uh, it infected the crew, all of, except for one who had some sort of weird immunity. So no, he, he had a disease. He, yeah, yeah, he had some sort of disease disorder. that kept him from getting the the infection yeah, the, of the, yeah, the genetic, alien genetic, genetic infection disorder. Yeah, which I think is a really funny plot line, but okay. Um, yeah. And they come back, and the main guy, the main mission hero, he's like Buzz Aldrin or Neil Armstrong or whatever kind of guy. And he's all happy, no. and he's fucking bitches, and yeah, he was like a hero. Nah, I wouldn't compare him to Buzz Aldrin or... All right, whatever. Yeah, he's just some dumb astronaut. I, I wouldn't. Whose father happened yeah. to be rich. Yeah. And a senator. Yeah. And Pretty an much. idiot. Yes. Uh, he comes back, and guess what? He's an alien now, too. And he's trying to breed out the human race by introducing his own creation into all these women whether it's consensual or not yep and then he finds out that eve is alive and they do everything they can to meet one another and get down to some serious boning yeah that's pretty much a plot well, that's pretty much it yeah michael madsen's back to kick alien ass again yeah i love michael and madsen the chick doctor from the first movie's back but i don't know if it's the same actress that plays her or not oh Oh, she looked prettier in this movie than she did in the first one. Hmm. Uh, this m- movie actually did have a McFarlane toy line based after it. The first one didn't even have that. But this one got a McFarlane toy line, which is kind of cool. Hmm. And Michael Madsen said that this movie is a giant crock of shit. He said he will always be honest about the bad films he does, and he hates this movie. It's a crock of shit. Personally, I thought it was kind of entertaining. It, it was fun. is. It's, it's a fun film, but... Yeah. Yeah, not, not, not I can see why you say that. About. But yeah. Oh, speaking of nothing right home about in a crappy film. And uh another second hand store, the other one in there in town, the Hug or whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got the mimic three pack. <laughs> I'm actually supposed to go back and pick it up for Dave. Have fun with that. <laughs> we certainly didn't. Tell me about it. Alright. Before we get into the pros and cons of this film, there are a few weird things about this movie, like, why the fuck do we have advertisement on the side of the shuttle? Like, uh, <laughs> aliens will see it and they will come. We must find out what this thing is that is Pepsi. We will go to Earth and have Pepsi. And Marlboro cigarettes. Wasn't there a Marlboro c- cigarette sign on the uh, side? I forget what all was there, but it is like, what the fuck? Yeah, uh, that was funny. And uh, then the president of the United States looks like he has ears that he could fucking fly. I think they really wanted to war- uh, Ross Perot to win that election back in '98, and he did it. So hey, be the guy. Looks like he could fly with those fucking ears. <laughs> That's all I had to ramble about. Okay, let's get into cons then. Okay. Again, just like the last film, major con for me for this film was where they use CGI. That's actually my first con and my biggest one as well. Cheers yes. It, again, the CGI is real shitty. And okay. totally dated. Yes. It. Oh my god, Ugh. dude. That head reconstruction? That looks so stupid. He blows his head off and then his head reconstructs. And it looks like it came out of Doom 3D. You remember Doom 3D? Yeah, yeah. That's what the graphics look like. It's that bad. It was so dope back in the day, though. I mean, George Lucas was around working on Star Wars at the time. They could have sent it over to him, and he could have done a halfway decent job Ugh. with his eyes shut. You know? I mean... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> fucking CGI again. Yeah, the CGI is terrible. Uh, the creatures look really good in this movie, which we'll get into later. Oh, yeah. But the CGI, when they're moving and stuff, they use, like, fake CGI creatures. 
It looked so bad. It looked like their feet were not touching the ground. They were running along the ground. And it didn't look like it was touching. It looked like it was brushing along the top. You know what I mean? Yes. Like terrible yes. Uh, stop motion CGI animation. And it was bad. Just very bad. Bad. All right. What's your next con for this film? This is going to sound like a weird one too, but I don't like the fact that the chopper pilots in the movie are old and fat. I, it's a government. They're military. There is a I weight limit for one, and there's an age limit for two. The chopper pilots are old and fat. I mean, this is not a private corporation. This was government. I didn't notice it that. It makes no sense. I mean, well, whatever. That's just me. I'm dumb that way sometimes. I look at things like that and no, go, that's No, stupid. no, no. That, if I would have noticed, um, I would have probably thought that would be stupid too. But um, I didn't notice that they were old and fat. Yeah, they were. They were old and fat. I didn't get it. So it, it'd be like you being a chopper pilot. Except I'm not old and I'm not fat. Yes, you are old. No, I'm not. 37. How is that old? You're old. Jason is old. That fucker's 47 and he's got a broken hip. You're old. Sorry, Jay. You're old. No, I'm not. You're older than me. No, I'm 37 as well. You're still older than I am by four or five months. Yeah, and I'm old too. Oh, shut up. See? I only really have one more really major con for this film. And that was the Mars scenes. It looked like shit. It did. It did. All the Mars scenes at the very beginning of the film, where they were, where he was on Mars, looked like shit. I really didn't pay a lot of attention to it, honestly. It did. It looked like shit. I think I was still doing the editing on the other video at the time. Oh, okay. So. okay. But you know, it just it looked real fake. You know, you know what I'm saying. It just didn't have a real feel to it. Just real. Fake looking, generic. You know which one of those I thought did a good job of Mars was Total Recall. I thought that was cool. And that was back in what eighty something? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That movie did do a great job on. Much that. better job. Uh, that's all the cons I have, guys. Uh, was the CGI, the way it was done, the creature movement, and uh, the fat chopper pilots. That's it for me on that. Okay, so, then. Well, start with the pros then. Uh, pros. Natasha Hentress boobies. Well, yeah, yeah, my wife's going to kill me. Oh, wait. She already did. Right in the heart. Yeah, I'm dead. Remember? Ghost. Stop it. I, I still say he's here. I'm not going to go hoo-hoo no matter how much you do it. How did you know I was trying to get you to do that? My first prop for this movie is the creature design. I do like it. But, of course, it was... Not very much new to the creature design, except for the male version. No, I really like that scene where it's kind of like in their visions, where they're fucking each other as aliens. Yeah, and the designs yeah, yeah, and their, yeah. That looked really dope. That was really cool. Yes, creature design uh, was good again. That's another good pro for me, as well as the creature design. I thought it looked really good. looked amazing. I liked the way that these uh, the egg sacs looked. I liked everything about the alien designs. Yeah. Um, my first pro is the gore. Lots of gore in this movie, and I yeah. love. Yeah. I, I, I okay. We talked about the CGI shotgun blast where he blows his head off and it reforms. Yes. But when he actually blows his head off, it looks really cool. Yeah, it looked all and, right. Um, I love the birthing, uh, gore effect. Oh, where yeah, this baby yeah, like yeah. rips its way out of this woman's stomach, and it looks really cool. It just yes, that was cool. That was another one of my pros for this film as well. Is yeah, the blood and gore. It is. A gore fest. Much more of a gore fest than the last one, I think. A little bit more than the first yeah, one, yeah? A little bit more. My last pro for this film is going to segue off that. Really? Your last pro? We just started. I didn't have much for this movie. This movie was really just kind of a popcorn movie, like mm -hmm. even more than the last one. But my last pro for this film is actually going to just segue off the last thing practical effects. Whenever we used practical effects, it looked good. Yeah, I really like that too. Yes. CGI sucks. Practical mm -hmm. effects. Geez, are we seeing a pattern here? There was a movie that I did yesterday where I died. Um, they actually had some good CGI effects. Here's You may have seen the movie. I'm sure you have Scream 4. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it. Did you know that the knife blades were all CGI added in post-production? No, I didn't. That's no. good CGI, because I had no idea either. And so, according to everybody else that I've talked to, they didn't know either. Oh. That was, well, there is good CGI good. out yeah. there. 
that looked good. I mean, that's cool, you know. So yeah, the CGI in this sucked, but the practical effects looked really good. Like I said, yes, that birthing scene that was cool. Excellent. You could see the practicality; it was awesome. Uh, I like this movie a lot too. Like you said, it was a popcorn film. I thought this movie was fun. I like the humor. I like the dialogue. I wrote down something about a dick joke. I can't remember what the dick joke was, but I liked the dick joke. Whatever the dick joke was, I liked it. I, I don't remember either. And it's a kind of a dumb joke, but I think it's funny. Michael Madsen's character asks the doctor, How does she know how to drive? And the doctor goes, Her favorite TV show is The Dukes of Hazard." How does and The Dukes of Hazard teach you how to drive? I, I just found it funny. I, I thought it was hilarious. I liked that. You know, <laughs> this movie wasn't to be taken seriously, in my opinion. This isn't no. Aliens. It's not serious. No, no, no. But it was a fun film. I it enjoyed is. it. I had fun with it. And that's pretty much all I have to say about it as well. So, yeah. Um, my favorite kill in the film was when he blew his own head off before it re put back together. Uh, before the CGI no, I take over. it back. My favorite kill in the film was the pregnancy. When the oh. baby thing popped out of her stomach and killed her. Okay. Yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah. yeah. That was actually my favorite kill, was the pregnancy kill as well. Because it was just like, very well, sh very well done there. And yeah. that, baby, that baby thing getting out of there, like, oh my god. Yeah. It's fucking sick. Yeah, I like that as well. So anyways, guys, that's it for Species 2. Join us next week for Species 3. Yeah! Anyways, guys, this is Bronco Juggalo saying peace. And Bill saying good night. Yeah! Blaze your dead homie, M-E-C. Ten years in the making. Know about it, bitch. Duh, sack, I got your back. Hand you that for the anti-jack. Parked on Mac in a perp.